Howdy folks, this is Dr. Jeff Camarda with a word for Jeff uh, and this, uh, um, this segment is going to be on my mid-year performance commentary about Camarda portfolios for Camarda clients and, and about performance of the markets in general. After a very robust and profitable 2017, performance across most equity markets has struggled obviously this year. Uh, this has been particularly noticeable where there's a strong international component, as, as is the case in many Camarda portfolios. Now, after a very impressive 2017 and early 2018, the stock markets have stalled and non-U.S. investments have stalled the most. There are many reasons for this. U.S. interest rates continue to rise, attracting capital flows and driving the dollar higher uh, as forces sell foreign currencies and buy dollars to access foreign markets. Uh, this trend is accelerated by governments like China actively driving, some would say manipulating, their currencies lower to make their exports cheaper in dollar terms. A higher dollar makes it harder for U.S. companies to compete worldwide as our goods become more expensive when purchased with foreign currencies and it hurts investors like Camarda in foreign stock markets as those investments drop in dollar terms that our statements are expressed in. Now, a second factor is the rising cost of oil, which is priced in U.S. dollars, increasing production and transportation costs for all but especially emerging markets economies, reducing profitability in those non-U.S. non-U.S. markets. But the big factor here is the looming trade world war driven by U.S. actions for the most part. While Camarda still believes that this will come out all right and even better than before, there is no doubt that it's already costing everybody a lot and appears to be getting worse, hopefully getting worse before it gets better. Since the U.S. is the world's biggest market, protectionism here, tariffs on imports, puts a big damper on the economic prospects of those who sell here, namely most of the rest of the world. The fear of this economic chill is currently priced into non-U.S. markets, which have stumbled, stumbled some, uh, significantly stumbled since the economic uh, sabers commenced to rattle early this year. Now, Camarda does not expect these conditions to continue or even to get much worse. The potential for pain and deep economic damage is just too high for everybody. A good analogy may be the old Cold War nuclear doctrine called, do you remember it, MAD for mutually assured destruction. No one would start a nuclear war, so the logic went, since all sides would perish. Camarda continues to believe that non-U.S. investments offer outstanding value compared to the fairly frothy late-stage U.S. bull market and ultimately will be much more profitable. For this reason, we think clients should continue to have significant allocations to offshore exposure. The price of long-term outperformance is very often, most often, short-term pain and uncertainty, but we believe Camarda investors will be very richly rewarded for their patience and fortitude if they will stay the course. Now, some of you may recall, we were honored this summer to be interviewed by Barons who wanted to publish our views on smart investment allocations for the markets ahead. We were doubly honored to be asked by a senior Barron's writer very recently, an expert in non-U.S. markets, for a follow-up interview this week, a very smart lady and a graduate of the Columbia School of Journalism, Columbia course at Ivy League School in New York City. After quizzing and challenging Jeff, that's me, yours truly, for some time about Camarda's views on non-U.S. investments, she admitted at the end that our views echoed Barron's. And I must say, it's very nice to be in such smart company. So the, uh, the, the end is that we are probably up you know, for some bumpy skies ahead. Uh, but in the end, I think we'll see the, the, the winds calm, uh, the markets, particularly the non-U.S. markets, uh, um, surge yet again. And uh, on the U.S. dollar, to, I mean, dollar currencies are very volatile and move quite a bit. The dollar to calm down a bit and, and uh, um, they're further enhancing the gains we expect in non-U.S. markets. Hoping all of these things come true soon. This is Dr. Jeff Camarda wishing you a very happy midsummer. Until next time, thanks for watching.